Okay, welcome to this video. We are going to overview a few crucial concepts which uh, relate to electricity, electric charge, and circuits. First, electric field strength. Take a negative plate and a positively charged plate. Negative is designated with black, positive is usually designated with red. And let's place them parallel to each other. If you put one coulomb a 1 coulomb charge in between the two plates, it's going to be repelled from positive and attracted toward negative. So that means it's going to be pushed with some force to the left. If it's a small charge like 1 coulomb, then the force will be pretty small, like 2 newtons. But what if we take a bigger charge, 50 coulombs, and put it at the exact same spot? You might have guessed the bigger the charge, the bigger the force. And a 50, char 50 coulomb charge would feel 100 newtons in this case. So in example A, there was one coulomb being pulled with two newtons to the left, and then the bigger 50 coulombs was pulled with 100 newtons. We can clearly see that the value of force, how big, how many newtons uh, the charge is pulled with, depends on how big the charge is. The bigger the charge, the bigger the force. But what about electric field strength? In the first case, electric field strength, which we find using F over Q, was going to be the 2 newtons, 2 newtons, divided by the 1 coulomb, and that's 2 newtons per coulomb. In the second example, we can use the same equation to find the electric field strength. It was a bigger 100 newton force, but it was a bigger charge, 50 coulombs, and it came out to the same exact value. We can clearly see from this example, this real-world example, we can imagine this happening in a laboratory. This is what your results would show. Your results would show that the electric field strength doesn't depend on the value of Q, how big the charge is. Force will, but not the electric field strength. What about potential difference? If we take a 1 coulomb charge and we put it right here, if we place it next to the negative plate, then this is where the 1 coulomb charge naturally wants to be. It's attracted to the negative, and so if you just let it sit here, it will stay right at that position next to the negative plate. If we take it and we lift it off the negative plate toward the positive plate, then it's no different from lifting a ball off the ground. The higher you lift it up, the more potential energy it gets. When it gets to the positive plate, it is lifted as high as it can go from the negative plate. And let's say we've given it 5 joules of potential energy. What happens if we repeat that experiment, but instead of using 1 coulomb, we use a bigger charge? Does it gain the same, does it gain 5 joules as well, or does it gain more? potential energy. Well, if we take 3 coulombs and you move it all the way across like that, because there is more uh, there's more charge, there are more coulombs, it will gain more energy. The amount of potential energy gained depends on the value of charge. The bigger the charge, the bigger the energy gain. So what about potential difference though? Because potential difference is equal or defined as the change in potential energy per coulomb, per unit charge. In situation A, we had 5 joules was gained when we moved it from one side to the other, and that was with a 1 coulomb charge. This gives us a value of 5 volts as the potential difference. In the second example, we had a much bigger potential energy gain. It was 15 joules, but it was a larger charge, 3 coulombs, and when we calculate, we get the same 5 volts. What we can see from the example is that the value of potential difference doesn't depend on the charge. The amount of energy gained does depend on the charge, but not the potential difference. So what do we see? There are some quantities that depend on the value of charge, like the value of Coulomb force. The bigger the charge, the bigger the force that the charge feels. 
However, electric field strength doesn't depend on the coulomb on the on the amount of coulombs. Electric field strength is independent of the value of charge. Getting a bigger charge doesn't change the value of electric field strength. Potential energy gained when moving from two from one position to another position, A to B. The amount of potential energy that you gain does depend on the charge. Bigger charges gain more energy when moved from one spot to the next. But the potential difference doesn't depend on the amount of charge. Whether you're moving a one coulomb charge or a hundred coulomb charge, if as long as you move between the same two points, A to B, they will have the same potential difference between those points. So these quantities, electric field strength and potential difference, they give us a way to talk about force and energy without requiring specific examples of charges. You don't have to say, okay, imagine there's a one coulomb charge going from here to here. You can just talk about the potential difference instead. It frees us up from having to discuss specific examples of charge values. And as we're about to see, that becomes really useful for things like circuits.